Is everyone ready? How do I sound? Brett, shh. No talking. No talking. <laughs> you ready? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Hit it. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen, 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 Jen. Welcome back to another episode. Oh, um, yeah. We've got, you know, Brett in studio, Maggie in studio. They're over there. we got Beth in the uh, producer's chamber, live editing. Behind we got that the wall. whole We got the whole crew, and we are pumped, and we are ready to take over the world. Our blood's boiling. Woo! Woo! Let's go, Malt Licky. Malt Licky, how y'all doing over there? We're doing good. Doing great. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. We're eating M&M's. We had a little bit of snacks. Have M&M's changed? I would say no. They're had, still the same? They're the same. We had some barbecue chips, some M&M's. Uh, Chocolate covered pretzels. Chocolate covered pretzels. Paige ate my ass. Mm, that was the best part. Yeah. Malt leaky. Love it. Licking. <laughs> you were malt leaky in that icky. Licking and sticking. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I have ate your ass. If you're new here, I have licked Chelsea's butthole before. She has. And we need, that's been a couple years. We got to redo that. Dude, mm-hmm. your butthole was malt salty. It <laughs> fucking tasted like salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. And I had just washed it for you. So. So that's a problem. No? Well, I'd say, yeah. I mean. For some. I think that's why you're not really supposed to lick assholes. It was kind of humid nature. that day. Yeah, it was hot that day. Yeah. I've yeah, licked and- others that didn't taste like that. Cool. Thanks for calling yeah. me out. Interesting. All right. Well, welcome back to this another installment. How's everybody doing? Well, we've said good. Well. <laughs> <laughs> how, are you, how are you, though, most importantly? Are you okay? I, I'm actually really good. Why do you look a little high? I just, had, I just had barbecue chips. I think maybe that got me riled up. Sometimes your eyes, hold on, let me get this malt uh, M&M. Well, y'all have been fucking smoking the vape pen, blowing up my fucking face the last hour. Uh Uh-huh. Weed weed clouds in here. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe secondhand smoke thing was fake, but I've kind of noticed it with her. (laughs) I have came out of here feeling high, and I don't smoke. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, uh, Let's see. Um, Brett, you only said a few words right now. Sure. I think, we, l- listen, let's jump into it. Let's give the people what they want. Let's give them some questions, some podcasts. And Brett, go ahead and lean forward for us. Turn it up. Loud, loud, loud. That's you. I can't hear it. You know what? Redo that. Yeah, I Jesus can't Christ. hear it. It's all the way up over there. Oh, I did turn it down. Remember, I was jamming too Brett, loud earlier. Come on, Brett. Brett, yeah, don't explain. Yeah, it's my fault. Hey, Brett, just do better. Yeah. Hit it. Oh, I got to start this over. Sorry. I got to close oh, that. Oh, man. Here. There's always room then, to do better. If you're listening. Is, you good? Even if you're driving right now. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what to talk about the other day. So I bought this book where it's... One question. Uh, you know, I didn't buy it. Actually, someone else bought it. It's one question a day for five years. And uh, I'll save that for another time, I guess, maybe. I'll talk about that. But I'm kind of into the frequencies thing, the 528, uh, repairing the uh, DNA. So I thought I'd just play that real quick. So, Brett, this is your oh, dad. Oh, my God. Time's oh my up. Gosh. Bring back. <laughs> Should we all close our eyes? Everyone close your eyes right now. Just listen. Relax. And eat my ass. Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Hey, I that, feel repaired. That felt that great. Was nice. So, would you just look up spa music on YouTube? What was that? That's the uh, 528 hertz. Uh, What's that frequency. mean? It, What's that mean? It's a certain vibration that heals the uh, DNA. There's like, you know how crops different. are made. 
you know how it's like a perfect circle some could say that you know oh that's because of frequency hmm. okay. frequency is so powerful it could like create shapes perfect shapes pyramids yeah. you name it so what are we supposed to do when we hear that? Are we supposed to be doing breathing? Are we closing our eyes? Are we yeah. meditating? Are we A chilling? lot of people sleep with it. Ooh. There's different levels of hertz. So like I was saying before on a different pod, the 428 hertz, some people will say, you know, it heals anxiety. It can heal depression. There's different frequencies just, yeah. for every healing process. So do you just look these up on YouTube, Apple, just look up a frequency song? Well, it says right here, ten, uh, 10 frequencies to experience deeper meditation. 174 removes pain. Two, 285 influences energy fields. 396 uh, liberates you of fear and guilt. 417 hertz uh, fa- uh, facilitates change. Oh, wow. so there's, okay, a bunch. Right. there's a bunch. How, yeah. do, you, how yes. do you know what hurt like? What hurts? Because it just sounds like a song <laughs> oh, to me. my pussy hurts. It just sounds like a song to me. So how do you know... Yeah, like, how do you know what's real and what's not? That the vibrations are vibrating. They actually show you a lab where it's being made, some YouTube ones, so so it's proof. So yeah. They a will studio, do uh, experiments, lab. you know. But do you have to be in there to experience that, or you just have to listen to a recording of it? Yeah, just listen to it. Let's, listen, do, let's yeah. listen to it again. Let's, oh, listen okay. to it. Let's, let's all relax for about 20, 30 seconds. If you are listening to it, relax mm-hmm. with us. Close your eyes. Are we going to get copyright or no? We're good? Ooh, I don't... Who knows? It was only 30 seconds. All right, let's listen. Let's just do it. Uh, okay, gotta, we'll just take... We'll risk it. I risk it for it the frequencies. Up. Yeah. Let's... Uh, yeah, if you're joining us, relax with us. Unless you're driving, you know, don't close your eyes. But if you're at home, just close your eyes with us and let's just chill. Some of these do say don't play while you're driving. Oh. Mm, yeah. But, I mean, come on. Just keep your You're eyes open. You're driving, yeah, keep your eyes open. If it's putting you that to sleep. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, it this ain't is just going to repair your DNA. Let's do 20 yeah. seconds to hit it. Here we go. sleep to that that was great yeah cool well thank you for that lean forward brett yeah no problem yeah I thanks appreciate for that. having me oh, that was a soothing one i'm gonna start doing uh fart quincies just farting and doing it like maybe 14 hours of farts nice. just have people sleep into it lupin could Dude, do something you could go viral for, for fart quincies i'll put fart quincies like and then i'll just number it the down. day yeah. far quincies all right you guys this week's rock fucker of the week is Charlie Conley. Charlie Conley. Bow, 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 bow. Let's go. Congratulations, honey. Thank you for interacting with our social medias. Maggie's going to send you, she's going to message you and send you a free viral podcast t shirt exclusive. You guys don't forget to go to theviralpodcast.co to get our monthly merch drops. All right. Should we bring out the big daddy, the big wheel? Oh, I can't wait. Get trivy. Get trivia, get trivy, get trivia, uh-huh, fuck me, uh-huh. get trivy, get trivia, ooh, she's grabbing that big wheel, oh my god, this wheel's big, baby, big wheels keep on turning, <sighs> all right, I birth lo- control, <laughs> I love spinning this wheel, Brett love loves it. that sound bite more than he talks about your birth control so much. I don't know what his infatuation it's, with it is, but I think it's because it's the first YouTube video we ever like kind of did with you. We did the jingle. Do it again, the, Brett. Let's hear it again. Oh, I gotta. Oh well, my, I gotta minimize. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Birth control. Yeah. Remember when he told you? I want a girl with extensions in her hair. What the fuck? Bamboo earrings, at least two what pair. What the fuck is Wait, this? That's what I did on a, a for a tick. What'd you just play? It, it was wasn't a LL. It was LL Cool J. I did a TikTok on it. Brett, that's embarrassing for you. <laughs> Should I play my tick? No. Why? 
Because we want to see it on the TikTok app, not uh, not here. All right. It's, I thought it was funny. You got it up and ready? Play it. I don't have it up okay. and ready. Okay, well, we just heard it, but okay. You know what that birth control reminds me of? The very first time we, like, hung out, me, you, and Brett. That's what he's saying. Yeah. We all went to yeah. Palm Springs together. And I didn't know these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had known each other, like, what? And we're just Not farting. Um, well, hold on, I'm getting sorry. that. <laughs> well, that's what I was trying to say before his fucking TikTok went off. The quote he said to you. Yeah. We didn't know each other hardly at all. And we stayed in one hotel room in Palm Springs. For my birthday. For your birthday. And we spent the whole, we were up all night farting. And filming <laughs> and it. And filming it. And we didn't know each other. Chelsea was cracking our backs. Mm-hmm. And then we was like, oh, I... Brett, what the fuck are you doing? This whole video is going to be taken down. Discon- no more clicking on your computer. Shut it. <laughs> disconnect Brett's computer. Yes, disconnect him. <laughs> you We're going to cut his mic or cut his cords. You technically don't need it connected anymore. <laughs> your I was voice trying was to still- log into TikTok and in some advertisement. All right, anyway. So I just thought it was funny that Three of us really didn't know each other, yet we're three adults in a hotel room together, <laughs> farting and waiting for a fart. And when, when when one was coming, we were filming it, getting out our phones, recording it. Like, what the hell? And then um, Brett told you, he's like, he was so serious. He said, isn't it so cool that we can share our farts with the world? Yeah, and he was dead serious. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And it is cool. Yeah. It is. Are we ready to spin? Should I go first? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does it mean, orange? What does it mean? Here we go. What I'm does it sure. mean, orange? Okay. Oh, our buzzers, dude. <gasps> yeah. Buzz okay. Aldrin, get out here. Here we go. What does it mean to pitch a perfect game? In bowling? Or in baseball? Baseball, yeah. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Can I undo my buzz? Oh, I know it. It's perfect. Oh. Dude, we both know this. Strike. No, no. I'm just, I'm just saying things at this point because nobody was saying anything. It's like a, a no pinch hitter. hitter. It's a or, no, no oh. hitter. But it, I thought it was called a something hitter. Pinch hit. No. It's when uh, you want me to just tell you. Yeah. When uh, no batter from the opposing team reaches any base. Oh. What's it called? I. F- perfect game. That whole thing didn't make sense. No, the way that, you were fucking saying it. I said, what does it mean to pitch a perfect game? And it's no batter from the opposing team Hold on, reaching let, any base. Let Beth talk what? Oh. Category. What does it mean? Well, Beth doesn't have a mic, so it's hard. People don't hear. They comment that all the time. Whoa. Uh, okay. We didn't understand how that was supposed to be played, so. Should we start over? No, let's just spin yeah. again. You should try to explain it in here because they didn't just hear Beth because she doesn't have a mic. Beth just said. Yeah. We Orange, were, what does it mean? Yeah, what That's is it? it? Okay. What does it mean cool. to pitch a perfect game? Okay, we don't quite know our categories yet, but we're we're learning just like you. All right, let me spin it up. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh got that good spin for you. Animals purple. <laughs> I'll scroll here. Animals purple for the second question of trivia. Woo! Right. What bird has the longest tongue? Seagull. Incorrect. A fucking crane? Um, it goes like this. Hold on. Oh, a no peacock. Hits. Peacock. A flamingo. Dude, what bird fucking gawks like that? I can't think. Oh, a, um, I don't they're know. local. A chick, a turkey. A rooster, a turkey, a vulture, a fucking. Oh, let's let Maggie tell you, I guess. Maggie, go ahead. Y'all want the answer? Yeah. A woodpecker. Huh? I would not have known that. Me either. The longest tongue a woodpecker? When Beth was making this, she asked me, and I got it right. Wow. What? I oh, know. Damn. It's called the Northern Flicker. How'd you know that? Yeah. Sports Red. Sports Red. Sports Red. Okay, for the third question of trivia, y'all. Who was the only person in NBA history to be named Most Valuable Player, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year? Can I just say, is it fucking like John Stockton? Oh. What was it? Larry Bird? Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. How did you know that? Because you just guessed. 
Larry Bird? What was he? Executive? Chelsea Lynn, how'd you the, know? The Pacers. I know, I know things. You, know, I know <laughs> you don't things? know nothing about You sports, guessed, though. bitch. You guessed I Larry know. Bird. I, I had a feeling. Hey, I remember watching Larry play. If I'm I, that old. Hold on. If I made a guess, don't you think I'd say someone other than Larry Bird? No, because he's really well known. Not real. I mean, not to non-sports fan. A non-sports fan would not know who Larry Bird is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If I, I if I'm a non yeah, that's true. If I'm a non sports fan, guessing I'm gonna guess Michael Jordan. Name, 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 LeBron, but he's players. probably the best white basketball player of all time. Hmm. Score? What did he Larry say? Bird. Like I can, I'm gonna score 48 points tonight, and then he just score 48 points. Like he was that type of good. Yeah, Insane. he'd say I'm gonna score 50 and do it. All right, left here we handed. Go. Is it my? It's spin? your turn. Hit it. Mo spinny. Mo spinny, baby. Art yellow. Art yellow. Okay. I don't know how you're gonna know this, uh, but <laughs> no, what fuck. year did Bob Ross die? Eighty-three. Is it in the nineties? Yeah. yeah. Ninety-six. Ninety-four. Somewhere in the middle. 95, 90. Yeah. Damn, I, I knew dude. it was in the 90s. Yeah. Here we go. What does it mean? All right, we got a second chance. Okay, so what does it mean? I'm going to ask you, you know, a question, and then you're going to be like, what does it Got it. You know, mean? Got it. Um, what does it mean to fold in the cheese? To fold in the cheese? To take a spatula and lightly fold it over? Uh, it basically just means stirring gently from the bottom upward, folding the liquid up over the cheese so as to help it melt gently. I mean, that's right. You're... Yeah, she just said it. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get it word for word. But, but... yeah, you folded the cheese. Yeah, yeah. I, I folded some cheese. <laughs> Right. It's easy, yeah. but easier than folding than anything else. Okay, one more, one more, right? Let's do a couple more. Oh, gosh, I love trivia. We Dude, love she's trivia. spinning that wheel now. Art yellow. Art. Art yellow. Okay. Come on. Where is the world's largest art museum located? Paris? Well, yeah, and but what, and uh, what's it called? Oh, that I don't know. The Louvre. Okay, I yeah. didn't know that. And then, uh, what year did it open? <sighs> Fucking got me. Did you? Is he reading it wrong, Beth? Yeah, that's the bonus question. Sorry, Come bonus on, question. Man. What year did it open? Right, you gotta do it right. Read. <laughs> you gotta do it right, man. If he wants a bonus question, bonus question. What year did it open? Two thousand one. Okay. Seventy eight. I don't know. In the Different 1700s century. And shit. All right, let's just oh. fucking say 1887. August uh, 1793. Oh, it's been open since 1793? Mm -hmm. For reals. I said 2001. I know, I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right, well, nobody gets a bonus. So yeah, should no we go bonus. one more? Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got to redeem ourselves. You can bonus. Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. Let's do another... I love that I told Brett, hurry, but I, it will take me 20 minutes to find a DM. I know. <laughs> rock and roll blue, rock and roll. Here we go. Rock and roll blue. Oh, I love this one. I did not know this. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> How old was Elvis when he died? 42. Yes, I didn't know. Man. I actually did know that. It was your age, bitch. Yeah, mm. I'd already been dead. Yeah. You know? One yeah, year ago. Oh, he died August, what, he died August 26 or August something, August. I thought he was like so it'd be, old. He'd be like this month. He'd be your age. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. So sad. Oh, God, I love Elvis. I said, bless my soul, it was Chelsea, wrong. you know how old I am? Yeah, I thought you were 42. 43. 43. <laughs> the fact that none of us know Payback. each other's age is just my out of control, I, and we're with each other like you every day. outlived Elvis. I know. Couldn't believe that because I feel like I'm in my prime right now. Well, you know? and when I think of Elvis being like a 42 year old man, I think, oh, he was an adult, he was a grown man, and then I look at you and your mentality and how you are with us, and I'm like, yeah. Elvis could have been just like Brett, Rod Stewart. Thanks. He he could have 
He could have had a Dennis Rodman. There, I haven't met very many 43-year-old men like Brett. Thanks. Have you guys? No, but I'm not around I'm not around 43-year-old men as much as Brett. So, they could be faking it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know the real them. Yeah, who are you? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. So, you know, everybody acts normal at first when you first meet them. You get to know them and you're like, "Woo." Everyone's showing that first impre- that until you fart, you really don't know that person. Or until you move in with each other. Yeah. I would say down. that, gosh, I would say before, if I ever did get married, I don't even know if I ever would, because yeah. a little scammy to me. But uh, It's just paper. Just kidding. I don't even know. But what was I saying? You okay? Sorry. <laughs> Brett, <laughs> don't do that to me. I know. Sorry. Brett, how does it make you feel when she sorry. says she never wants to get married? Uh, well, it was, it is kind of confusing because I am, uh, oh, I I actually found a document that proved I'm deaf. I was going to say that for a lean forward. What? Yeah. I'm, I was looking for my How does soul. that have to do with us getting married? <gasps> I'm, I'm lightheaded. Because, I'm lightheaded. okay, the reason I was going to say that I'm is lightheaded. because I thought when we first started dating that you wanted to get, uh, yeah, then you we moved in, a, then we moved no, in with each no. other, and then I said, oh, no, well, said, he's, he's got malt licky. Said- <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, so I would say if I ever did get fucking married, I don't know if it will be Brett or not, but I'm crying. I would recommend moving in with the dude. I know that's frowned upon living with somebody before you marry them, but fuck, dude, imagine not living with somebody and then you move in with them and figure out who the fuck they are. And find out they're 100% of the time malt leaky. <laughs> 100 malt leaky. Sticky. Yeah. All right, Brett, so show us the, the oh. thing. Show us the show document. Us. Yeah, what does the document my... have to do with, we don't know. I was looking for my social security card the other day for something I needed it We're for. not talking. What does marriage have to do so with I the fa- malt leaky? The ear. Oh, because I thought I heard you say you wanted to elope. <laughs> but you're saying I never, you, you said you never said that. He's being dead serious. Sir? No. He's being dead serious. People I can thought, change their minds, though. Dude, he no. brought out the he fucking said, documents. Yeah, he has his from, ear uh, documents with him. He said, I thought you I thought you said you wanted to elope. I'm yeah. crying right now. But then she says she doesn't want to get married. So I'm like, okay. She, well, I, don't, I mean, whatever. Because she moved you know. in with you. Yeah, you got no, that yeah. malt licky. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's <laughs> tough. You know, all right. Having someone pick up you, after you all the time. You get me to see that document? Or? Oh, Why yeah, do you I'll carry it you around in your fanny pack? For times like this, probably. It's going to be tough to read. God, I'm crying. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Public school record. I'm trying to find a year on here. Trying Public to t- school record? Mm-hmm. Two th- no, He's 96? He's since ev- forever. No, it's like 92. February. I can read it probably better than you. 92, 96 maybe. Oh. Right ear frequency, left ear frequency, just a bunch of just, check marks. Yeah, just go to the bottom, oh, okay. really, the writing. Okay, and it says, loss on low tones, urge parents to contact physician. <laughs> Following medical, oh man, this is. It says I like, yeah, sorry. Uh, if you knew you were going to keep it for 40 years, you should have laminated it. Yeah. Well, no, I just didn't know it was in there. I'm like, oh, cool. This is the what I needed to do. Oh, you know. dude, when I was in junior high and high school, I was obsessed with laminating shit. You were. <laughs> Me too. You were. I loved it. And I still like it. Yeah, absolutely. It's crispy. That was back in the day before they had those little sheets you could do it with. We I, had to go to like. I would take it places and go library, get stuff laminated. Yeah. So, Brad, I'm not really seeing that it says you're deaf. I am saying, go ahead and go ahead. My mom owned a snap and scrap, and so she would get all the fancy equipment. It was nice to laminate and shit. And she had Damn. that crick cut, that crick cut machine, uh-huh. scrapbooking always. Okay, it says failed school screening. So, contact physician. Did you ever contact, go to the physician so did, did for that? Did, con- go get your mic, Brett. Because people can't hear you standing up in the center of the room. Holy shit. If you're still oh, listening, we love you oh, so nuts. much. You all right, <laughs> right Brett? It's hard. I feel like um, 
I'm really glad Brett's here on this po- on this episode though. No, you not Paige? Is he annoying you? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but what were we gonna say, Brett? Oh, so you said something well, to me. I'm supposed to. Oh, I'm, did y'all ever see a physician? Yeah, they basically just said, "Yeah, I'm. I can't hear that well." Okay. Um, but it wasn't bad enough to like wear hearing aids. Whatever. Okay. Didn't we talk about his ears at the very beginning when we started this pod? Yes, because we were saying Brett doesn't listen, and he was saying that's because I can't hear. Yeah, but, but he- times have changed. Like, there is a procedure you can probably do with your... If you have had an ear problem, please tell us what you've done, because... Well, also, yes, but I also feel like not listening and not hearing are two different things. He doesn't listen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, mm-hmm. well, Not no, that he me, can't yeah, hear what you're me. saying. He doesn't listen. He has. Oh, um, I just can't hear it. No, you have selective hearing. But no, if I, I hear don't. what this, you want to hear. This proves I don't Brett, have selective. Brett, if I'm sitting here having a conversation with you right. and we're conversing uh-huh. and we're talking, uh-huh. and at the end, I'll, uh-huh. you won't know what I'm talking about. Like, you don't listen. You hear what I'm saying, but the words don't mm. mean anything to you. Does that make sense? They go in one ear and fucking so Brett blames this the part. Brett blames that on not hearing. I know. But you but heard this, what I said. But this is the part where I ask you for an example, and then you say, well, I don't have an example on right now. I got a million examples. Oh, because you do? Because it almost happens ev- in every conversation. And then so when you need an, an example, it's kind of like, how do we give you an example when it's literally every fucking conversation? Brett will go, hey, let's go to, um, let's go grab uh, breakfast, and then we'll go by Trader Joe's, and we'll go home. And I'll go, okay. And five minutes later, I'll go, uh, which Trader Joe's we're going to? And he'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'll <laughs> That's go, not. And I'll go. Mm-hmm. See, I disagree. I'll go. You said we're going to Trader Joe's. I never said that. Mm-hmm. And I'll go. Mm-hmm. I don't recall this happening. Sorry. <laughs> That's uh, all right. Should we move on to some questions? Fuck. Hey, listen, I wasn't going to bring this up, but you pulled out the documents. No, yeah. This is yeah. what I just wanted to bring yeah. out. Okay. That I, you know. But Chelsea is something. right. Chelsea, you just freaking slammed that whole conversation. And Brett, you're wrong. You're done. Do better. <laughs> Lean back. <laughs> or vice versa. Or I'll say something and he'll go, okay. And then he won't, he'll, you know, it'll, it's the same type of conversation. And people will go, Paige is so rude to Brett. But oh. you guys, Mm-mm. I deal with that, mm-hmm. that type of malt leaky every day. <laughs> she's malt, she's dealing with malt leaky daily. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to talk to me, look into my eyes and that way I know I'm, I can, you know, I'm paying attention and. Aww. I can hear what you're saying. Okay. Because I can't hear that well anyway. All right. He can't hear. So. Maggie, do you think Brett listens well? No. Not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because I have poor hearing. Yeah, he can't hear you guys. So she's 100% correct. He can't hear. But you also don't register anything. Anybody, that's that's any, what we're saying. Anything and anybody says. And he doesn't. And I highly you, disagree. This conversation is example yeah. of yeah. what we're talking about. And also, if you like the relationship you're in and want to continue it or whatever, and hearing and listening is such a big problem in your relationship because communication also comes in, ties with that, and the partner goes, oh, I'm not going to go do anything about the hearing because my ears will just be messed up, then it's like, okay, so you're not going to do anything about the hearing, but you can't hear, so... Look me in my eyes and talk to me communicate with me yeah brett's not understanding what we're saying so Mm-mm. we should just move on yeah and uh we wish you well brett and everybody <laughs> think about him like send him you know send some positive thoughts <laughs> and prayers whatever to, to brett in his ears i think communication is really important it's very important yeah so i agree yeah, yeah. all right so where were we going next segment or uh, beans. was the the beans we're, ro- we're done baby we're ready we're for coming? we're ready for a can of beans mm. roll that beautiful bean footage Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Want to smell better? Naked? Let's face it, our underarms aren't the only place we have body odor. That is why I am so thankful for today's sponsor. Lumi, whole body deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. Created by an OBGYN who saw too many women being overtreated with antibiotics they didn't need for external day-to-day odor. It's clinically proven to block odor all day and controls odor for 72 hours. As you all know, I play tennis and 
it gets a little sweaty down there, so I like to rub the deodorant stick on the outer slit layers. Lumi was also made with the most sensitive body parts in mind. I am very sensitive down there, so I rarely use soap. So with this deodorant stick, I can just apply it on my outer lips, and I am good to go and smelling fresh as ever. I absolutely love the Lumi Starter Pack, which lets you build a custom bundle of their best-selling products and customize your scents. It comes with a full-size stick deodorant, a cream deodorant tube, and two free products of your choice, like acidified body wash or wipes. You can use Lumi products on your pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, fupas, vulvas, feet, slits, anything you desire. So what are you waiting for? Get started on your Lumi Starter Pack today with over 150,000 five-star reviews. We are so confident you'll love Lumi. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi Starter Pack with code VIRAL at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your Starter Pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code Viral. Hi, beautiful ladies. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to tell you about a story, a story that happened to me. Um, I was married to a man who was living a double life, and after six months of marriage, I found out he was cheating, not with just a few women, but about 12 different women, just telling them he wanted to move them into their his house and that he was a lawyer. And he was going to, you know, spend his life treating them good and all that. I found out that he was cheating by some women that reached out to me on Facebook. After that, I started living in a separate room, ready to be moved out. And there was a knock on the door a couple days later. I was the only one home, and there was a raid on the house. When they raided the house, I didn't know what was happening. And they told me that he was in trouble for being um, meth and a drug um, dealer, but also maker of meth, and also for child pornography. I immediately got a restraining order, and now he's with a fourth wife, because we had two before me. A fourth wife, but she has no idea what his past is, and he's on Megan's law and has to be that way for the rest of his life. But I just thought you would think that was pretty interesting how somebody can live a totally different life and what happens. So, anyways, ladies, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, damn, honeys, <clears throat> dude, it's it's wild to me, and I've always said this, and I talk to Greg all the time about this. You don't know people. I knew that's what you're going to say. And I say, I say that mm -hmm. all the time. And you what, don't. What, you know, Greg and I, and I think I've, I might even might have mentioned this several podcasts ago, but Greg and I were, this was years ago, we were watching a Dateline or a cold case, I think it was. And there was this woman um, who was craped and murdered outside of Dallas in the early 1970s. And, um, brutally and they didn't find her killer until like just a few years ago by chance they reopened the case you know dna didn't exist back then they had dna and they found a grandpa who had a normal job been with his wife for 40 years had kids had grandkids he was a loving grandpa loving father great man in the community <laughs> it's like can you imagine I told Greg this, I go, can you imagine as much as you love your dad, Roger? Mm -hmm. Roger's the coolest dude. He, you know, just deputies coming to pick him up for doing that 40, 50 years ago. Like, you could not even, fa you would not even believe in it. You would not. You Greg, could not fathom. Greg was like, that's insane. He goes, I can't, I can't imagine. Like, my dad would never do anything. Like, like you don't yeah, know. He, that's what I'm saying. I don't think he would either. That's not yeah. what I'm saying, but you People, you don't, it's mind-blowing. I heard a story about that same thing, like, with a loving grandma. She was a freaking serial killer. That was a Black and Mirror. Black Mirror episode? <laughs> but I... <laughs> Brett, lean back. Brett, time's up. Lean, 
Get no talky. <laughs> get on the cushion. But Lean back. I see. It's wild. Dude. It's the stuff like that. Blo- double lives. And it, the title thing that you said, like it could be, uh, you know, uh, somebody in the community. It could be, you know, it could be the people, you know, at your local fucking church that are the people you think are the best people that are preaching to you. Yep. It's, I mean, <clears throat> you truly don't know people. And I'm sorry that you had to fucking go oh through that God. to be married to somebody and the 12 women. That's so disrespectful to call. And Who to, knows? And like, to see that motherfucker move on and get remarried knowing that, like, he's going to, knowing that there's nothing you can do that he's going to move on and manipulate people you know like that's oh it's like he shows no emotion or just nothing yeah damn honeys we're sorry about that that is fuck that is fucking wild i mean happier away from him now at least exactly god way to get away we love you honeys thank you for calling in damn sicko hey honeys just finished the new episode and i wanted to hit you guys with a would you rather Mm. So would you rather have two little tiny scaled down two scale wieners as nipples or would you rather have a little tiny, uh, you know, to scale set of balls where your clit is? I also just wanted to say on the poppers note, poppers are fucking cool. Hmm? Um, I wasn't really ever doing them to, you know, prep my any for hmm. some sex, but it's pretty badass to hit one. And then light your farts. You know, food for thought. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Would we we rather have little tiny penises for nipples or balls for a clit? Just imagine rubbing your nipples and they come. That'd kind of be cool. <laughs> and they get hard. Just I'd be shooting that. people in the face. Come. I feel like if you had balls for a clit... It almost wouldn't be too much different down there because there's so much skin and folds and stuff. It's almost like... The cheese folds. You wouldn't know, you know, if you're folding cheese down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would just tie right in. Because your one clit is kind of like one ball, so it'd be like having two clits with a little sack around it. Yeah, little little balls. I think I would like the penis for nipples. Damn, well, do we have to wear those breast, uh, those breast covers so we don't le- get malt leakies? Oh, no, I'd malt leaky all over everything. Just I'd, always I'd, leaking. I'd want my leakies out. Fuck, dude. I'm already leaking out of enough holes. I'm just trying to think. You do. Um, How cute would little tiny miniature I'm nipple thinking of them. be? They would be cute. Would you be circumcised or no? Maybe one not, one. That'd be cool. I'd switch it up. One yes, one not. You know, just to see. You got two. Mm-hmm. Might as Choices. well. You know, might as well do that. Yep. Yeah. Let's get those um. There's a dick nips. flying around I here. I know. Some, I think that sometimes, like, I wonder if the viewers can see these gnats I'm trying to find, or if I just look like a fucking <sighs> freak, idiot. just, like, yeah. catching all these airs. What would you do? What would y'all do? Uh, I guess I'd probably have two balls Yeah. for a clit. Really? <laughs> so it'd be easier to find for uh, the guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Imagine getting <laughs> hit in the in the balls, though, in your little berries. Aww. They would be tiny. I would. I, I think I would do the two little balls. Really? Yeah. That'd be cute. Both would be cute. I love this. Would you rather? Would you wear a cup when playing sports? Well, you probably just let them hang. But I'll. You got, let them hang. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got. No, your, you don't want to do that. Yeah. You got your big pussy lips to cover it. They don't have to be low. They can be up by the clit. But balls are sensitive. Yeah. So Imagine it, so you hit them clit. on. You hit them on a corner, and you're but, like, "Oh, my balls!" But you're not going to hit them on a corner because <laughs> they're up in your pussy. They're up in the... Yeah, they're the little. Yeah. They're up yeah, by but, your clit. Just add another clit. That's what it is. Side by side. Yeah. That's what it would be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. Little side by side. Yeah. It wouldn't be a full set of balls. No. no. Oh, and I get that. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping... Yeah. <laughs> I do understand that. Yeah. yeah. But I've just said... I've, I mean, I've hit my vagina a fair amount of times. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. All right. I love that would you rather keep the would you rathers coming. Come on now, oh. what's this? Oh, that's Barbara's phone. Barbara, turn it off, I, Barbara, Taylor Swift is going to get that? us demonetized. We're going to get demonetized. <laughs> As we're already not saying four days. Four days. I know. Okay. Um, I have right. my bypass on, that's why it rang. Oh, I, have that, it, I have it turned off, but... That's all right. Just do better. 
Brett's <laughs> chimed in and said, just do better. Brett's telling people to do better. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> if he's telling mm, us. What well, is it, Barbara? You all right? Uh-oh. What was the other thing Hold that... Oh, I mean, y'all go ahead. Oh, we okay. can talk? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The four... Um, the nipples, and then what was the other thing after that? Balls. Balls. No, but what was the other? Oh, the poppers. Okay, the oh, poppers. Yeah. He likes to light his uh, popper at the farts. We mm-hmm. talked about that several episodes ago. Like the poppers, getting butt, getting your butthole ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to relax you, but mm-hmm. he lights him. He farts and then lights it on fire. Would you ever do that? I've thought about it, but then I heard that the inside walls of your anus can get, like, burned. And you could like severely not good not good at we all we can't be having that i don't want to be burning my, the inside of my hole from just trying to fart i'll just fart regular just jesus christ <laughs> that's too much man he bored bored but it's cool if you're filming it and if you're not filming it just for fun you can do whatever but i'm not going to risk getting the inside of my hole burned i'm not risking it without being filmed yeah Anything for a good shot. Well, you need the clout to pay for the right the bills. Right, you need a good vlog for that freaking anal cavity. Well, I mean, what that's got to cost at least two hundred grand. Oh my! How for do you even repair that? I don't know. Just be careful with your holes out there, you guys. You guys are doing too much with them sometimes. Lighting fireworks out of them. You know, just just do what they're supposed to do. Maybe a lick every now and then. Don't go too far. And rough. Gosh. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. We love you. Hey, honeys. Confession here. So I have been sober for about 15 years now, and I feel myself falling back into that place that I was 15 years ago. I've been with my old man for 15 years. We have two beautiful children, and for some reason, I just feel like there's something missing, and I cannot put my finger on it. And... I want to tell him that I've been using again, but I am scared to tell him because if things fall apart, I don't want it to be used against me for my, having my kids. He's very understanding and sweet, and I know he would do everything to help me, but I just can't find myself to tell him. I want to tell him I, every day. I almost tell him, but I just can't. I just need advice on how to tell him or if I should just deal with this on my own. Um Let me know your thoughts. I love you all, and I wish the best for you all. And take care. Love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honey. We wish the best for you. Damn. Um, I feel like if you don't tell him, he's going to know. He's going to find out. Eventually. Um, If it gets worse, if if you're not able to take care of it, handle it yourself, um he's gonna start to notice changes and differences if he hasn't already i don't know um that's my thing he's gonna find out yeah one way or the other i and he's your you're married to him you have kids together it's you have a family so i think just being as honest as possible with your partner if he's honest with you you know you got to respect you got to respect your partner and and that's a big one, too. So I feel like if you do tell him and you said he is loving and accepting and will understand, I say bring him along and have him help you because right. he's your partner and that's what partners do. I agree. And I think, I think, look at it this way. What would you rather do? You come to him and tell him what's going on or when you least expect it, him finding out and getting even probably more upset than he would and con- and confronting you. Because that's what I would be more upset about yeah. is if I was your husband and found out on my own. I would be really upset and probably lose a lot of trust yeah. in the relationship, you know? Yep. So okay, Yeah, I agree with you on that. Yeah. Yeah, big time. I think, I think most definitely you should just tell him. And I don't think it needs to be anything crazy and... I think literally you should just set him down and be like, I I need to talk. I've got to, you know, I'm not okay. Mm-hmm. And just get straight into it. Yeah. Oh, and we <sighs> wish you the best. You can get through this. And yes, you can. Yeah. And you'll get through it together. And 
Future's bright. I would tell him, honeys. We love you. Love you. Good luck with everything. Hi, y'all. I'm nervous here, but I just had one quick question about y'all's opinions on, like, shopping etiquette, like, mm. as far as, um, like, staying to the right side of the aisles. I, I mean, in my opinion, that makes sense. It's like traffic on the road. It makes sense to stay on the right, like, because then you're not, you know, blocking everybody else trying to shop. And then also, when you're waiting in a line to check out and getting in people's personal space. Like, I was just checking out at the Dollar General, and before I could even walk away, the next person is right up at the counter. So there's a wallet up there and is already asking for her things. I didn't even receive my receipt yet at that point. Like, it's just so frustrating. So let me know what y'all think. Okay, thanks. Bye. This is something I don't, I don't even think about. Shopping etiquette? Mm-mm. Oh. <laughs> I definitely do. Because She's really big on it. Sorry. You are. Well, I think it's freaking annoying if people are blocking aisles or oh. just like on their phone and like not paying attention. That's annoying to me. Or like if I'm looking at something and people just are right behind you with their yeah. cart, like just I, go I, around or I don't know. I would agree with that. I, you know, I keep to the left of the or the right of the aisle like you're walking. Like, I would agree with that. I think that's common sense and common courtesy, which some people don't have. Mm-hmm. But that's every that's everywhere you go. Yeah, that's anything. That's not just a grocery store. That's I mean, people are just inconsiderate everywhere. I've been trying to like look for a veggie, not there for long. I'm like literally grabbing something, and I've had people just come in right next to me and grab something like under me, or it's like, damn, just give give me like one second to yeah. back up. Yeah, it's that's something I don't really think about though. But I will like if if someone's kind of in the way, and I'm trying to get by, and they know, and I'll say excuse me. I'm very if I'll say excuse me once, nice. They don't. I'll say excuse me once, and then, and then I'll literally, oh gosh, now what? And then I'll literally be like excuse me, and then I'll walk by and go. <sighs> I'm a big huffer. Mm-hmm. If huffer people, and puffer. If, if people are being rude, I will huff and walk by. Them. You you do. You are a huffer. <sighs> Just Anytime you're technique. frustrated, Chelsea, you go, <sighs> <laughs> you're big on that. I'm a huffer. I want people to know you're being rude. Mm-hmm. And I'm huffing. <laughs> you, <laughs> you are huffing. And not paint. Or whippets. Mm, right. Just releasing some Just try to be, just people are, um, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking Inconsiderate. for? Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. They don't, you know, it's, they don't. You ain't considered it at all. It, people are just rude. Or they everywhere. lack empathy. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know. So. They are. And that, yeah, you're right. It does go with everything. What's your favorite grocery store? Damn, dude. Mm, I love Trader Joe's because I feel like they have just everything I need, really. But I like to go to Whole Foods sometimes. Go. We like to go to the whole body section and just... Walk around, get some mm-hmm. bath salts, and mm-hmm. I don't know. I, lo- I love them all. I love Whole Foods, but it's t- it's too far and it's so expensive that I don't go all the time. But I will go occasionally. I'll go occasionally, but I'm just a Kroger's girl. Some when we were filming that show that never came out though, mm-hmm. um, we w- would go to Eri Han a lot. Eri Han, there is a. Uh, Grocery store in Los Angeles. There's only like four of them in Los Angeles. It's the world's most expensive grocery store. And we'd go. I mean, it. How much did you pay for a little pint of strawberries? Like, it's like 25 bucks for a pint of strawberries. Dumb. Don't do that. Just so dumb. We'd go and just get a couple things, but. You were addicted to the uh, cookie dough balls. Mm-hmm, they had they the cookie dough so balls. It's good. a very cool grocery store, but it's not like normal to go in there and get all your groceries. It's. Oh, gosh. No, not unless you have that freaking... Right. That private jet money. Right. I've got a... I follow a private uh, personal chef in Beverly Hills, and I don't know who her bosses are, but she TikToks <clears throat> her daily thing, mm-hmm. and she they want all the groceries from Ear One. So she goes every day and gets for it, and, and it's just... Damn. Yeah. They rich, 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 rich. <laughs> She'll spend like two thousand. I know who you're talking about. She'll what? spend like two thousand dollars in there. Yeah, each time she, I mean, she each goes time like she it, goes. Does she do or, hauls? Hmm? I forgot who she is. But. I'm not gonna lie. Though 
Uh, how do you actually say the name? Erwan? Erwan. Those aisles are the fucking skinniest slits I've ever been in. You can't move. Everyone is just in their workout attire and mm-hmm. yeah. getting what they need, and they know exactly where it's at. I get a little flustered it's in a, there. It's a very weird grocery store, but it's really cool to go into. Yeah. You, yeah, so. Anyway, that's that's my thoughts on grocery store etiquette, I guess. Yeah, I don't. Everyone just do a little better in a grocery store. And everywhere else. Be mindful. Be aware of the people and around you, and especially too the phone thing. Look around when you're crossing the fucking street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People don't even look up, and they just will go right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Love ya. Hey, honeys. Thirty-two-year-old virgin here, just looking for some advice. Woo-hoo. So I'm a virgin at thirty-two still, and I'm kind of you know ashamed about it, kind of embarrassed. And I don't know what to do. Like, if I do find someone, like, do I let them know? Do I just keep it to myself? I'm going to scare them off if they find out. And, um, well, that's it. So I look forward to hearing from you. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey's virgin here. It might actually not, it might, being a virgin might lure people in, not scare them off. I mean. Paige, big time. Who doesn't I don't, want I don't, some virgin? I don't think it's going to scare anybody off. Um, <clears throat> some people. Well, I would only tell people if you want to pursue a relationship with that person. If you're like, hey, I, I just want to get my virginity over with, and I just want to do it with somebody and get it over with, I probably wouldn't say anything to them. But if you're like, I don't want to do that, I want to get into a relationship with somebody and have sex with them and stuff, I would then I would probably... I would probably tell him. But what if she gets malt bleedy? <laughs> because she, she hasn't had her cherry popped. If she, I never bled. Ch- I, saying, saying cherry popped is so fucking nasty. Rena cherry. <laughs> cherry popped. What if she gets that malt bleedy? <laughs> that malt bleedy. If she gets that malt bleedy, I mean, that happens. And then he's like, why are you bleeding? Oh, I'm a virgin. Do you say it after? I think it's weirder if you say it after. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to just be like, I'm a virgin. Yeah, say it before. Yeah. And then I would also say it preps the dude who you're fucking. He knows you're a virgin. He can kind of like help you rather than just cram it in your hole. He can go a little more gentle, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, I agree. Um, I don't think I don't think that's something you should be weirded out or embarrassed by. We were all virgins at one point. Uh, you know, like, yeah, I... I um. I don't know. I it depends on your situation, man. I to whether you tell somebody or not. If you're just wanting to fuck, screw it. They don't even know, you know? If you're a virgin, I would say that's almost like having a superpower. Yeah. That takes a lot of like holding back. How are you making out and then not fucking? That's true. How are you dry humping and then Right. Maybe she hadn't been making out. Yeah. What if she's not making out and hadn't made out either? I don't know. But how could you make out and not fuck? Oh, I love making out. Making out is my favorite thing. I'll take making out over getting my pussy ate. I'll take making out over... In- you said you just want to go to a swingers club I just and, make out. and make mm-hmm. out and dry hump people. <laughs> you know what? I could make out and not have sex. Making out is my favorite. Yeah, you could just freaking get a corner and rub your yeah, I can, on it. I can handle that myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't make out with myself. You're just your wrist or something. I love making out. What's your favorite sexual thing? Oh, just laying in there like Patrick. The and, and, and just getting a wiener in, laying there and getting a wiener in? I think it is fun to make out, though, and do that. Um, but Brett will come real quick if you make out, and that will it's get him passionate. off. Yeah, it is. I think making out's good while having sex. Brett, you seem to just come fast anything she does. I can kind of, well, yeah, I have to come the whole time. I, yeah, I have to hold it. Uh, yeah. Hold it. What's your favorite thing to do sexually? Out of, if you had one thing, give, receive, could be the littlest thing. But like, what is like the one thing that you're like, this is, this is it for me, the best? Doggy. Really? Yes. So doggy just gets you. I like it a lot. Yeah. Bust really quick. Okay. And I can't hold that. Yeah. I can kind of hold the other positions. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Maggie? Um, oh, God. 
Doody. Probably getting my pussy eat. Yeah. Eat. eat. Getting my pussy eat. <laughs> Eating. Getting my pussy eat. Get to eat. Dude, that needs to be a fucking Get, promo. Start, getting my pussy start eat. Eat. <laughs> eat. Eating. Mark mm. eating. I like to give head too, though. Mark eating. Yeah. Yeah. God, that is good. Get that, you a little wet. Remember that one time you were talking to that guy? We were living in Escondido. And I said, are you still talking to that guy? And you said, no. I ghosted him. And I was like, why? And you said, he sent me this text message. And I go, what did it say? And you said, he said, excuse me, ma'am. Can I borrow your mouth? <gasps> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> ma'am. And it pissed her off so bad, she ghosted him. <laughs> well. He's going to give it back. Which, that was stupid. Yeah, you like it what you like. It pissed me off so bad. I was like, nope. Can, can I you borrow your mouth? I don't like, even remember out. who that was. You but, can kind of tell the personality just from the... Yeah, don't say message. shit like that mm-hmm. to me. Well, can you imagine feeling so dumb that you sent that and then she never responds and you're like, man, I shouldn't have fucking said it. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably still thinking about it. That was the dumbest thing I could have ever said. That probably keeps him up at night, dude. I forgot and, about that. And y'all weren't like texting in the middle and he said that. You hadn't talked in like hours or something and he randomly texted you that and you were like, nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. May I borrow your mouth? Okay. Then that's, yeah. So, okay. If you're out there listening, don't ever send a text like that. No. No. What about the ones that say, like, put balls in your DMs? They'll have, like, a soccer ball or something in there. And I've never say, seen that. oh, sorry, my ball rolled in or, like, yeah. so Oh, my. I think that's funny, though. <laughs> I've never had that happen. That's the dumbest thing I've Those ever Those ones heard. are the dumbest motherfucking things. I've Mm-mm. never had that. Wait till you get one. You're going to get a bunch now. Oh, gosh. Now I'm going <laughs> to get them every day. Those ones are wow. weird. Hey, honeys. Um, if you're feeling like it's time, it's time for you to get something in. A wiener or something. Yeah, I kind of want to know what she's been doing. Like, yeah. The past 32 years. Just like talk to her. She's either been not nutting or nutting on her own and she's ready to nut with someone else. She, like, what are her hobbies? So, um, she didn't tell us. Yeah, she didn't tell us. Yeah. yeah, time's up. Dick in. Right. All right, we're ready for that next call. Yo, I got a question. Me and my girlfriend are here at the house, and she thinks a quickie is where both of us get it in. But I'm thinking a quickie is where one of us gets it in first. Whoever goes first is is the winner at this quickie game. So, um. So she calls it a race. I call it a quickie, as in whoever comes first goes first, and that's the end of the game. Um, what do you think? Quickie, both spouses come, or a quickie, um, one or the other comes, and that's that's it. Hence the word quickie, key term, keyword. I oh yeah. I, I thought it was common knowledge that a quickie means the man comes and the woman doesn't, which is sex 98% of the time. Yeah, that's true. I didn't um, think it was that, though. Not what me. What do you think it was? I thought it was like, hey, want to go do a quickie? You just hurry up and... Um, no foreplay. Just, you just fuck real quick. Like, yeah. you know, you just bend over a table, get it jammed in, jammed out, Are done. You- are you coming during quickies? No. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you're, like, rarely coming. He came up with his own fucking rules. Whoever can uh, come the quickest, obviously you're it, winning. Obviously it's going to be the guy. So a quickie, you're not making out. Yeah, you're not he's making out. Her. You're not doing oral. You're He's literally sticking it in a hole and coming as fast as he can. That's a quickie. I've never heard of those rules. What rules? His coming the quickest. No, Whoever comes you. the quickest, it's going to be him. Yeah, and she says it's a race to whoever comes first. It's going to be him. Are they saying the same fucking thing then? I don't that know one what... got me, but a quickie to me is definitely when you're just like, let's say you're out and about and you're like, hey, let's hop in this bathroom or let's hop in this fucking um, car real yeah. quick or mm-hmm. anywhere and you just hop in somewhere, mm-hmm. plop in, plop out. And the guy nuts in 60 seconds and, uh-huh. you're, and, you're, and you're on your way. Then you're walking around with cream. Like all day. Yeah, she's saying you both nut. That's the question. She's saying you both nut. Yeah. Fast. I thought maybe I was being selfish. You know. That's not thinking. quick for a lot of people. Mm-mm. That's a longie. I'm gonna need an hour, forty five minutes to nut. Mm-hmm. And that's not good. You know. I would say I could nut 
in probably four minutes. Huh? During sex. During missionary. Jesus Christ. That's rare. That's new. That's new for you? Breaking new. Well, no. with just with Brett. Yeah. Because remember, previous boyfriends, I could not come. Like, we were even asking his family, hey, Paige can't come. Do you know what we can do? Wait, wait. <laughs> you were dating a guy. I've told this on the pod, I swear. I've never heard that you were talking to his family about him not making you come. I don't remember. So you were he dating asking, a guy. Yeah. He couldn't make you come. And y'all went to his family being kind of like, what's wrong? Not as like counseling, holding a rock to talk y'all were just speak. talking no, to him he yeah we would just went up for a barbecue he's like yeah you know i can't make Paige come you to ha- his uncle and stuff and okay. they're trying to come up with resources i'm just saying <laughs> yeah i don't know why i can't come and never felt it before but then he did uh the first time i ever did come was on a cruise he he eated me out <laughs> wait what <laughs> <laughs> and then and then that was pretty much it but brett Actually, that big cockhead, I don't know. It makes you come. Scraper. I rem- <laughs> Stop. Ew. Shredder. Shredder. <laughs> I remember you saying something. But now that you say that, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. dude. That's why. For- no, I need, like, a lot of time. You need foreplay, huh? Not, yes. Yeah. Some I need, make out. I need my clit rubbed, and then I need to be on top. Otherwise, it's not happening. And you're not rubbing your... You're not rubbing your own clit. You're are you rubbing it on the skin? Uh huh. Like Greg's belly. Like it was like above the dick area, like the dick area. You know, like right above the dick. I'm rubbing my clit. Okay. That's where my clit is. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm rubbing it. Perfect. I bet it don't take no four minutes. An hour. At least. My legs would give out, dude. I know. How do you do that? Well, maybe not an hour, but I definitely need a lot of. I don't know. A lot of seconds. Yeah. I wish that they would make some things that would, like, help you well, um, ride, like, some, um, what were those things we used to jump on as a kid? Pogo stick? They Pogo need those sticks. for, like, the back of your thighs when you're riding a car. That's funny. That'd be great. I always wanted a sex swing. Why don't you have one? I need to get one. Doesn't get know one. how to freaking drill a hole in the ceiling? Whoa. <laughs> He'd be like, where's the stud? He put 400 holes hanging up the TV. Brett, if you if she bought a sex swing, could you get it up yeah. good? You mm-hmm. think so? Mm-hmm. No, it'd fall when you're in it. No, I'm going to get it. No, I don't think Brett could know how to hang it up. You're right. We'd be calling Beth. Beth would come have to hang the sex swing. I put up that uh, projector pretty good, I thought. I know. could see Brett loving a sex swing, though. Having oh, yeah. you on a sex swing. That's all he talks about. Like, it is. He's brought it Airborne up on the pod doggy. a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has his Whatever. fantasies. Airborne starfish. Brett, huh? what's a fantasy you have? Airborne starfish. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, man, I guess sex swing. Uh, <laughs> all right. Paige, would you ever do it? Get a sex swing with it? Get a sex swing? Um, You'd just be y- swinging. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'd be chilling in yeah. it. Yeah. All day. Like a hammock. We should just get the hammock. I think y'all should get it. Can we put it up out here? In my house? Maybe down here or somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked in your outside. old house, you remember? I know. Yeah, you guys already know that story if you're a... An OG listener. Mm-hmm. Wow, dude. What's your fantasy besides double penetration and swingers? <laughs> I, would li- I would like to try... All of it, really. I would like to try double penetration. <laughs> I've talked <laughs> about pen. this. I don't think it would be... I don't know if I could... I don't know. I imagine like being a smaller woman with two dicks would be easier. But people are saying, no, the bigger you are, the better. But the easier it is. I don't. I would love to do double pin. Let me think here. I'd love to go to a go to a swingers resort and not even really fuck. Just see what it's about. I don't think what you're saying, like two smaller girls. I don't even think that even matters. I'm just thinking about how easy the, the dicks are going to go in and stuff. You're just going to lay there. Yeah, yeah, you're right, I guess. Yeah. I would love to try double pin. Um, I do think the only double pin I've ever saw is the girl was like um, on her head, maybe doing a handstand. Oh, and they were like... Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> if I tried that? Absolutely not. They're probably like, it gets rid of your hiccups. Oh, my gosh. 
I'd say that's it. I really can't think of anything else. There's nothing like else that I'm crazy that I want to do or anything. Not really. Not, yeah. Not, Glory not, hole. You, Maggie? Maybe. No. Swingers club for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a, some sort of yeah. like, and I may even hate it. You know, yeah. I just want to go and try it. Mm -hmm. Now the double pin, I think I would, I may hate that too, but I just want to try them. Do you ever uh, role play <laughs> in Greg? I mean, I feel like we used to, like, <laughs> the very beginning, but that doesn't do anything for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, dude, could you imagine Chelsea and Greg doing role play? <laughs> Holy, <laughs> Greg. Holy shit. I've always wanted to role play, but kind of just don't ever, you know. That doesn't do anything it's for me. The only thing that, that the only thing that will really help make me come is dirty talk. If there's no dirty talk, I can't come. Damn. Zero. So you need dirty talk, writing mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and okay. Yeah. So make you come quick. Keep note of that. Okay, I got you it. You never know. If you're a guy. You might need me. Might need you. So. So thank you for calling <laughs> in. Uh, was that about the quickie still? Yeah, or where? that was about the quickie. Holy We're shit, that quickie turned into a... Malt leaky. Malt leaky. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last call. Whoa. Whoa. All right, here we go. Thanks for calling. Love you. Hey, honeys. So my boyfriend, he is the best moaner around. I'm going to show you how he does it. All right, go ahead. Good job. All right, ladies. Oh, yeah? Oh, that was pretty good, but there is him? always room to do better. That was him. I thought it was going to be like a good man moan. That was Me like too. a... I can't go high like that. Listen, I'm not, I love you guys. I was not impressed. If I was fucking a man cool. and he moaned like that, I'd probably get up and leave. I don't, see, I don't think he does no. that during sex. I think he's just oh, okay. Im imitating mm -hmm. women doing okay. it. Yeah. Good, yeah. No. <laughs> Maggie would get up and leave. Maggie. I would probably get up and leave. Maggie, he's going, ah! <laughs> Yeah, you, you're right. Imagine. I'd start fucking laughing, dude. <laughs> you meet this hot dude. guy. You go over to his house. <laughs> Can we play that call again? Y'all, yes. Y'all start messing around. You get on top, and he makes this noise. You play it, and he make. We gotta make that a sound bite. Hey, honeys. So my boyfriend, he is the best moaner around. I'm gonna show you how he does it. He does this. All right, go ahead. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, I laughed so hard. Job. Oh my All gosh! Right, ladies. It oh, keeps getting yeah? better. He he's imitating women, but I yeah. would. Dude, I think I could stick through the fuck. You could, no. and I would laugh. No. I would laugh though. I, I would. would I, it, nice. I wouldn't be able to take it serious. Mm -mm. And I I'd mean, be, yeah. I'd be laying there mad, mad, mad. I wouldn't be mad, but I'd be like, he's fucking with me, or just mm -hmm. I. There ain't no way I'm coming back. I would pull through because that's just in in yeah. me. You know, I'm gonna start what I finish. Yeah, you gotta. If you start it, you gotta finish it. I've yeah. always said that. <laughs> I like how you turn the negative to a positive, you, too. Yeah, right? you do. If you do start it. something, finish it. But I'm not coming back. Right. And that's fine. And I'd be telling the story for sure, because, oh damn. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I'd try to be getting it on film. <sighs> All Hold right, on, guys. let me grab my phone. I'm getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> do that again. Holy shit. Well, thank you guys for joining us for another installment. What a wonderful time we've had. Mm, great time. With this podcast, with you guys. We love you. We appreciate you. If you're a guy or or a girl, whoever whoever can sound like a, like a, give us a good grunty moan. We want to hear that and maybe get- We want to hear a good man, like if you're a man- and you moan during sex. Mm -hmm. We want to hear that because we're always giving out moans. Sometimes we want to hear them. Yeah, you know, just that that mutual respect. We don't want to hear a oh yeah. We want to hear like a good like hey, uh. get us wet over here at the Vower Podcast Studio. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Dripping. Okay, we'll be going through calls. Yep. So call Pick, us in. Picking a good one. Okay. Call us in. Check out our Instagram, the Viral Podcast. Check out our Slits Onlys. Mm -hmm. Check out our everything. And give us a call at 442-777-3331. And always remember that you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going live. Get ready. We're going viral.